What about making you sound better? Hi there guys, Red Light Roman in cooperation with WA Production is speaking. Today in this tutorial I will show you and we will be talk more about layering synth. Uh, we have we've got several or we have received several requests in the comments under some of the uh, uh, older tutorials about you know to tell you more about this. So here we go. We will be working in FL Studio 12. 12, yeah, 12, and in the description of this video, I will provide you this FLP for free. And the FLP contains, or with the FLP, you will receive also those presets that I've used from various pack by the production and from mine packs that I've released by the way production. So, yeah, let's first let me play you what we will be doing in here. And so on and so on. So uh, let me just let me just say a few words regarding this uh, this whole thing. Um, I have I've I saw a lot of tutorials on YouTube, you know, where some guys were showing how to properly lay how to properly, properly lay down synth, you know, and combine them, group them, affect them. You know, they were using like tons of uh, different multiband compressors, you know, dynamics and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, I'm doing it a bit differently. As I saw from some, you know, projects from big artists such as Kashmir and, um, you know, Tiesto, and the other guys, uh, I don't know, Dairo maybe, um, I've realized that it's really not that hard to create good music. You don't need to use tons of effects. So uh, regarding this problematic, you know, with uh, layering synth, the most important thing is to just write the, or to just find the right sound for for it, you know, if you will not have the right sound you just cannot make it sound good even you are affected it even you are affecting it with you know hundreds of different plugins so um, find find right sounds that works well together find the right melody and you are good that's all you know the effects are just making it like more awesome but it should be good enough without any post-processing so yeah what I did there is that I have picked a few um, presets from samples by WA production the first one is or all of them are from Silent the first one sounds like this the other one uh, so this is more like mid-oriented sound. The other one is the uh, detuned saw one, you know, the stereo one. The third one is following the top line of the melody, the lead synth. And the last one is, sorry, the last one is this bass. It is following the bottom line of the melody. So, um, without any effects, it sounds like this. Which is good enough or not it which is good not but now good enough that's what i wanted to say so um i feel studio 12 is, is awesome by you know how it works with uh grouping and just 
routing channels to routing plugins to channels. So I will show you what I did there. I have selected four of those plugins or four of them. Four of them. I have picked route selected channels starting from this track. So they were like this, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I have I clicked the Control Shift and with the left mouse button I've clicked off all four of them including the one that I want to row them to and I click this one and you know road selected to this track only so they are routed like this and yeah well I have added a bit of you know I've I've cut it low frequencies from not like the low low or or sorry, not like the mid-low frequencies, but only those like, like really low frequencies. So I've just cut it these because we don't need those frequencies in our two chords since. I made it a bit, you know, like sharper. I have added a bit of high frequencies in there. For the lead synth, I have just added a bit of reverb. And for the low one, I have cut it a bit of high frequencies. And also this, this frequency because it just sounded muddy to me. So I, I just lower it a, a bit. And then um, the most important thing for layering synth is this. <laughs> this one, not sorry. Is this compressor? Um, it's the glue compressor that everyone is using. Uh, I've used this one from Waves, the SSL compressor. Um, Ableton, for example, has its own glue compressor, or you can purchase just a compressor that is called glue, glue, bah, glue compressor but they are basically all the same um, so I have I've just slightly use it uh, to glue all of those elements together and I also just you know this is just for fun I have added this quick break on the beginning of e of, of chords so i did this i have added a bit of more heights i have added a bit of stereo on the top frequencies and on the mid high frequencies and lastly i have added, I added a bit of reverb and that's all basically. Um, as you can see, it's really not that complicated. We have really nice, uh, we have really nice chords, alert synths, and I'm not sure what to tell more about it. That's just how. Me personally, how I am layering synth, I'm not saying it's the only way possible, but I may say it's really one of the easiest and the most effective way. So that's all from me for now, and be ready for next tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, or like, or do all of this together. And take care. Have a nice day. Bye.